go. All right. This is Jackie with In the Key of Change, and I'm here at Austin South by Southwest Festival with Bad Veins. South by is known for its live performances, good, bad, or indifferent. What can fans expect from your live performance? Indifference. Ha, 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 ha. Um, what can they expect from our performance? Sweat. Uh, well, do you want me to hold the mic? Okay. Um, I think that we, uh, we're very energetic. We're very enthusiastic. There's only two of us, um, and we use backing tracks, so it's a big sound. Um, so we kind of rely on our chemistry on stage and our enthusiasm, um, you know, to compensate for the fact that there are backing tracks. Um, but, you know, we, we like to get the crowd involved. Uh, we get them singing. Uh, some of our songs are so repetitive that it's easy to get them singing. Um, you know, a lot of uh, Jake is big on uh, hyping people up, getting people clapping and snapping, and sometimes he dances around like an idiot, and people like to do that with him. And we, we try to have fun. I mean, our job is to uh, entertain and have have fun. So we do what, whatever we can. Do whatever it takes. What happens? I say that. <laughs> okay, almost whatever it takes. What happens if, God forbid, the backing tracks don't work and? Uh, we're ruined at that point. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it happens sometimes. We can we can do it without them. We yeah, just you make too. yeah. Why would we want to though? Yeah, they're so good. But if they were to break down, man, I don't think they've ever completely broken down. But if they did, it would be really different. And, and really, I think <laughs> if they did, it would be kind of. I hope it would be one of those moments where like people appreciated the fact that we were kind of going off for a bit. It's it's kind of like you know everybody. Like, when, when Jimmy Fallon was on SNL, people loved that he would, like, break, and, like, he would start laughing, and everybody just thought that was so funny. And, like, and there have been times where, like, that, that kind of thing has happened to us, and we're like, this is not what we wanted to do, but we're going to make it cool anyway, and, and people just enjoy it so much more because it's so much more, like, it's like a moment of authenticity. Um, it's kind of candid. But it's kind of hard to go wrong, really. It makes you seem human, which is not always a bad thing. Right. We are constantly proving our humanity. <laughs> well, your last album, The Mess We've Made, came out in 2012. Oh, uh, yes. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> Way back in the day. Uh, lots of uh, acclaim from USA Today, Spin, Alt Press. So what are the plans to follow that up? Uh, well, we're already recording our, no our next record. Um, more pop music, maybe a bit dirtier. But, um, yeah, we, we're... We're always evolving. I think our first record and our second record are very different. Uh, if it wasn't for my voice, it would almost sound like two different bands. Um, maybe. I thought maybe that was like an overstatement. No, no, no sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to look at you at that time. But I, I think that the, the next record that we're working on now is it's like a combination of the first two records. It's like Our first record was like a dirty wall of sound, like a lot of distortion and crunchiness. Um, our second record was a very tight... Uh, delicate pop record with a lot of intricacies and I feel like what we're working on now is like a combination yeah. it's dirty but also pretty and it's like if, if like there's no way of referencing these names without sounding like you're bragging but if like if like John Bonham played uh, with like Outfield it'd be like that <laughs> maybe outfield. yeah they did I um, know what did, well, I don't, I'm just I'm yeah, just yeah. making it up as I go <laughs> I like when he says John Bonham because it's like the biggest compliment. Well, Bonham's a big heavy drummer, and Jake is a little sissy version of that. Hey. Well, at least I get the comparison. No, I'm saying a sissy Bonham is still pretty awesome. Yeah, it's sissy, I'll take sissy Bonham. <laughs> I'm going to call, call you sissy, sissy Bonham. Never mind. Sissy Bonham. <laughs> Pop music often gets a bad rap these days. With who? Well, and that, well, with whom, but it sometimes gets a bad rap. Why do you think that is? It's not cool to like pop music, yeah, yeah. but I don't know if you can see us, but we are not cool. Yeah. Nor are we concerned with being cool. I think that not being concerned with cool is the most cool. And I think people don't want to like pop because pop doesn't make you feel cool. Like, you can drive down the road listening to, like, garage rock like you're watching a Viagra commercial and feel like a badass, but I'm not particularly <laughs> interested in that. I, pop music sometimes makes people feel cool. Like, that's all about, like, whenever they're in the club, all they do is feel cool. Some of it's pop music, right? I don't know. 
but yeah, I agree, definitely. <laughs> and I feel like at some point, you have to, uh, it, it, well, a struggle that we've had is like, are we a cool indie rock band or are we a pop band? Because we're very poppy. And, and sometimes we're so poppy that like, it almost seems juvenile because it's not, it's not us going bounce, bang, and there, and there, and there, and there. Like, we're not a garage band. A lot of the things I do on stage, too, I like to get people snapping or clapping or waving their hands. And, His hips get involved. And then I sometimes, yeah. It's, That's it's, not cool. No, yeah. So all, none of my moves are cool. Like, you wouldn't go out on the street and start clapping and get everybody clapping. That's not cool, you know. Cool is reserved. I remember the first Bad Bane show ever. It was a solo project at the very, very beginning. And I had... Uh, my reel to reel on stage, and I had this big box that I had flowers painted all over it, and I was singing in this telephone, and I had a megaphone, and all these backing tracks. And somebody walked up and was like, Somebody's trying too hard. <laughs> and I'm like, What does that mean? What does trying too hard mean? That is like the most hipster thing you could possibly say. I was like, Oh, I'm trying to be successful. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was like, Just trying to do what I felt inspired to do, but I was being criticized for it like you know the only cool thing to do is wear black head to toe get your fender amp and your fender guitar and loud. jangle away i love i love fender <laughs> i would love a fender endorsement <laughs> oh fender yeah um i was talking about that black from head to toe or <laughs> no the, i'm people can do what they're inspired to do I, I am not inspired to be cool because i don't believe in cool what about when someone says like Oh wow, that red shirt's cool. Do you get offended or is that cool? Like, do you like? No, I mean I, I'm being sincere. So if it's accidentally cool, that's fine. You say thanks. Like I think that dress with the flowers is cool. Thanks. Actually, it's real bad veinsy. I like it. Thank you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we could trade shirts. I like paisley. Deal. See, it's it's weird because they say trying too hard, but then. What do coaches say when they have a team? I want you to give 110%. So pick a side, damn it. Pick a side, damn it. Uh, you've got a pretty rad sleeve going on right here. And a little bit of cover up, a little bit of a little bit of change. Who's your artist? Uh, a guy named Billy Joe White. He uh, tattoos out of Zanesville, Ohio. It's like three hours from where I'm from. So I make the hike. I try to. Two hour, three hours. And then I get worked on for two or so, yeah, I love him. There's something about musicians and tattoos, so I, ha I had to ask. It's very colorful. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, colorful in a bad way? Like it should be black instead? No, no, because that's trying too hard. You're trying so hard. Yeah, yeah. It was a giant cover-up. Bunch of crappy free tattoos. And I was like, you know what? I can't have this. Nothing says quality like free tattoo. Uh, yeah. There you go, kids. Some real, real advice. No free tattoo is a good tattoo. Yeah. If you're Stay gonna in get school. a tattoo, pay for it. Pay a lot of money for Make it. Make sure it's spelled correctly. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Spell check. <laughs> Spell check. Uh, it is indeed Throwback Thursday. What are your thoughts on the rebirth of the cassette tape? Sounds like somebody's trying too hard. Well, I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be cool. Uh, I don't own a cassette deck, so I'm not on board with this. A false. Well, you don't own, but. Our van has a cassette player. Oh yeah. So we haven't used it ever. Well, we have we put the cassette thing to play our iPod through, but we don't, I don't even have a CD player. Really? My laptop. Your car, but yeah, I don't have a CD player either. Xbox? Does that play CDs? Can't, yeah, I, I don't know. They certainly See, won't play cassette tapes. Because it's kind of absurd. <laughs> Let's just not. Let's not go backwards. I mean, I like vinyl. I collect vinyl. I uh, but I typically have the MP3 version and vinyl, and that's mostly because I like to sit in my living room and listen to music. Um, Vinyl's a, an exception. Like when you listen to vinyl, you can hear a different quality of the sound. You know, it's like warmer and crackly sometimes. And with a cassette tape, I don't know if you, if you get that same warmth no, or it just crackle. Just degrades so quickly. Does it? Yeah. It's a bad crackling. <laughs> bad crackle. Yeah, no, I don't understand it really. It, crackle, it crackles and fades. So, more importantly, we'll try. I'm gonna try. I'm really trying hard right now. I'm sorry. I'm just trying hard. Oh, yeah. uh, what's up next for Bad Come Veins? On, <laughs> what's up next for Bad Veins after South by? Um, well, 
we are we were in the studio up until the day we came down here working on our new record. Uh, we're going to go home and finish writing and recording it, and then we don't know. I mean, we don't want to plan too much. We're touring in uh, about a month. Well, that's true. We're going on a big cross country tour April, May, June. I forgot about all that. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Someone's not going to get up and miss the bu- and miss the van. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll wake him up with firecrackers. Well, he doesn't want to be alone up there. That would. Oh, he totally does want to be alone up there. <laughs> well, stay tuned for more from Bad Veins. Thanks to Heart and One Industries and Tattooing TV. This is Jackie within the Key of Change. All right.